Hi everyone. So what I thought I would do today was um, show you how I saved my or created the correct sizes for my prints that I framed in that previous video. So normally I would use Photoshop, but I was told about this free Photopea one on time on online. So I thought I'd give it a go. So forgive me, it's my first time using it. Um, but it looks pretty similar, so it should be good. So to create a new document, all you're going to do is go into File, New, A3, and then Create. So these are the sizes that I needed. I haven't actually measured for this um, example, but anyway, that'll, that'll work itself out. So... What I'm going to do is I always create a template so I know what size I need to shape the um, image to. So I'm going to go to rectangle. I'm going to start up in the corner at zero and I'm going to pull it down to the size I need. So say I need eight centimeters by 14 centimeters or 15 centimeters as that is. There we go. So there we go. We've got a marching ant showing us a box. So now I'm going to go to this bucket here, which is pour paint. And I'm, red's nice and bright. So oh, make sure that's on a new layer so we can move it around. There we go. So to clear the marching ants, I'm just going to go Control D, so which is deselect going to go back up to the move tool and I'm going to move it down into an area where I can actually use it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in a image from my file, if I can find them. There we go. Let's do this one. So I'm just going to drag then. This is being dragged in off my computer. It's going to open pretty much full screen, I think. There you go. So you can see these little square boxes around it. This is called Free Transform. So I could do, whoops, didn't want to do that. Never mind. So I could do that and then pull it over and get it to fit. But it's playing and guessing, a bit of a guessing game. So what I normally do, so I've just pressed enter to take away the free transform. I go over here to opacity. What I'm going to do is just drag that slider down. So now we can see my red template box through the image. So we go back up to edit into free transform and the little squares come back so now I can pull that down so it fits press enter on the keyboard so free transforms gone I can go back up to the opacity turn it back up to 100 so now what I need to do is actually do the sizing of it so I'm going to click the red um, template layer I'm going to go up to this free transform or not free transform the magic wand tool and I'm going to click anywhere on the white space and that's going to click the external around the the red box so now I'm going to go back up to my lead my image tool called lead the way my um, image called lead the way so see this little square box here this means that it is not really editable. Well, it is editable, but not for what we want to do it. So I need to right click and click rasterize. So now with that done, I can press delete on the keyboard and there we have it. It has resized the image or we'll cut away the extra and resized. So now I just go Control D on the keyboard, take away the marching ants, and there we have it. So now 
I'll go back to the move tool, which is the arrowhead. Oops, I selected that. Never mind. Let's go up to undo and control D to deselect. So now we can move it around and we can turn off the red so we can print. And here's one that I did earlier. So when you're working on online with um, things like this, please remember to save your file constantly because you're working in a browser. Um, it could crash. They've got more stable over the years, but yeah. So you save as a PSD and when you do that, it'll save all the layers so you can go back in and alter them or you can export as a JPEG. So yeah, um, there are bound to be more shapes you can do. I know that so the eclipse ellipse tool here. Just remember when you're doing a new shape, do it on a new layer, which is this page turned tool down there, layer thing, whatever it's called. Yeah, so that'll give you, um, obviously that's a circle, but you could do like that as well, which gives you a funny oval. Anyway, but yeah, so there are probably other shapes in here, but I'm just not too sure where they are at this point in time. So yeah, just remember to save your work as you go. Saves tears at the end, especially if you're doing long edits. And save your work um, as a PSD for further use if you want to. And while I was here, I thought I would show you another third eye photo editing tool that I heard about online. What this does is it cuts out images. See if I can start editing. I wonder if it'll um, if I can quickly open. So if I open a background image, if I can drag and drop, let's have a look. If I can find a photo from my library. No, I wonder. Oh, I just opened it just like that into Photoshop. That's not what I wanted. Um, actually. Let's go back here. Ah, oh, here we go. This is what I want. So let's go into my photo library and stop photos, animals, birds. Let's try um, something that's not cut out already. Let's no, oh, that key looks like I've done that. Let's try this one. New Zealand Tui. Open that. So now we'll just try cut out and see how it works. That's pretty good. So if I go into, let's apply it. Oops, I don't want stars. Oh, let's save it as a PNG, which will keep the clear background. Save. So I've downloaded that. So now let's show in folder. So that's opened on my other monitor and let's go into Photokia and open a new document, downloads, there we go, there we have it. So let's find um, Navigator, whoops, 
Hmm. Don't know what quality the photo was to begin with, but it doesn't look too bad. So yeah, anyway, I hope you found this interesting and useful at the same time. Have a great day. Cheers.